V-belts are the most widely used drive in industry. They are easy to install, require little maintenance, and operate in a wide variety of environments without needing lubrication. However, because they are so reliable, people often take them for granted and fail to follow proper installation procedures and maintenance practices. The V-belt gets its name and its gripping power by wedging its V-shape against the inside of the groove in a pulley, usually called a sheave. When a V-belt is installed, tension is applied by adjusting the distance between the drive motor and the driven equipment. Usually the motor is mounted on an adjustable base, which is moved away from the driven equipment. Tension can also be adjusted by using an idler pulley, which may be used to adjust slack or sag and may apply additional tension to the belt. The harder the belt is pulled against the sheave, the more gripping power there is, and the less tendency there will be for the belt to slip. If the belt does slip, heat is created. This causes the belt to stretch, creating more slippage and more heat. The cycle will continue until the belt burns up or turns over in the sheave. Improper belt tension is by far the most common cause of belt failure. The Goodyear RSM2000 tension meter is one tool that can be utilized to achieve proper belt tension. You cannot gauge tension by slapping the belts or pushing on them by hand to feel for tension. In addition, to tension the condition of the sheaves and their alignment can also affect belt performance. If the sheaves have burrs or rough spots, the belt will be gouged and it will wear out faster. There are several companies that make simple sheave gauges that are a great way to check for wear. If the drive is misaligned, the load will not be distributed evenly across the belt. As a result, some parts of the belt may wear faster than others, and the belt will fail sooner than it should. There are several tools that can be used to align belt sheaves, such as the T-MEB by SKF. These use laser technology and are very simple to operate. It is a one-person operation and is very accurate. Not all V-belts are exactly alike. The conventional or classical belt is still the most common, but the narrow section belts are also available. Even though they are smaller, their load carrying capacity may be the same as a conventional belt. Both kinds of belts require their own special sheaves, and they are not interchangeable. Cogged or notched belts permit easy bending in tight turns around small sheaves. They usually have raw edges to give them extra gripping power on the sheave. The link belt is made of individual links which can usually be replaced without having to alter the center distance between the driver and the driven units. And if a belt is damaged, single sections of the belt can be removed and replaced easily. Ribbed V-belts have a true V-shape rather than the flat bottom design of the conventional V-belt. They have added strength because they need about 20% more tension than the regular V-belt. They also require special ribbed sheaves which must be more carefully aligned than conventional sheaves. Banded V-belts are really two or more belts joined by a layer of rubber and fabric. This connecting layer helps to stabilize the belts and to keep them working as a set.